Hey guys and gals, let's take a look at Queer Eye, the Fab Five Loft by Lego, set number 10291, contains 974 bricks. And I managed to find this set, a friend of mine, Dragon, had mentioned that this set was on clearance, and I decided to pick up a copy. Uh, mainly Lego's retiring it because I guess nobody was buying it, <laughs> so I grabbed it for the parts and stuff. So here we have some minifigures, we have Tan... Jonathan, Bobby, Coramo, and Antoni. And I believe there's another one up here. This one here. Special guest, Kathy Dooley or something like that. So it's basically it's just a bunch of guys living in this uh, uh, apartment. And mainly I got it because of Tan's wig. Because at one time I did have the silvery hair, and then I want it for the profile bricks and these rug pieces. And then I believe that this cook top back here is printed. So a lot of this stuff here I want. And here's the back of the box here, and yeah. <laughs> Uh, this does look pretty fun. There might be some good building inspirations in here, too, like some of the furnishings and stuff. I heard some of this stuff in here is actually printed. I don't know how much of it is. But, yeah, I really do need that wig, those bricks, rug pieces, and the cooktop. Well, what does this set look like after it's all assembled? Well, let's head over to the Lego table and take a look. Here we are at the Fad 5 loft, and there's a lot of things going on here. So off to the left, we got ourselves a little styling area. And then we got Jonathan <laughs> getting ready to cut that mullet off there. <laughs> and we got the living area here, and we have ourselves a nice, what I consider a fairly sized kitchen. We got some random television here off to the right. This just kind of sits here. And then we got a cupboard and a nice big bush and all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot of greenery in this set, despite of what we have here. And it is a fully playable model. So you can see we have a lot of floor space. Now, what does it look like on the back side? Well, let's take a look here. And don't worry, we'll do close-ups of everything. So here we have a little area here, like a little studio, like with props and stuff. And this door here does open up, and it does have a solid piece here in the back that you can rotate. And you can set your minifigure in here, and you can rotate them in and out of the scene. So I'm taking this is just meant to be as a movie studio prop, nothing more. This, this does feel a bit stiff. So. And yes, that is a reddish-brown door, so we got to be careful. That may just crumble off the hinges there. And here is the back side. And yes, it is unfinished. So you're going to have to finish that off. Either put it inside of a studio or add more walls to it. And here we got the windows for the kitchen. It does bring a lot of light, but look what they did right here. They wanted to make some 4x4 four four windows, so they just tucked these down here. A little bit tacky, but that's just how it is. I'm kind of going OCD on this. This is rather sloppy, so this is just meant to be viewed from the interior. And that's pretty much about it. Kind of an oddball size set here. But for the most part, though, I am happy with it. Well, let's take a closer look. So here we have Jonathan ready to chop that mullet off. And surprisingly, that hairstyle is coming back in style. We get lots of accessories here and some clothes to try on. Here's that door. We'll open this up here. So that's where you turn that knob and you set a minifigure in there and you can rotate that around. I'm not going to go through the whole detail of the this set was mostly just bought for parts. Parts? Yes. For example, this living room area. Now, this does pop up out of here. It's a nice modern sofa. Nice chair. This coffee table just kind of floats around, but not too bad. Here's this area right here. Style, taste, class. Well, yeah. <laughs> I can 
I, I could do better than this. So I, I, don't, I may have to snag that sign and put it in one of my own builds. There's a cupboard right back there or a display rack. Nice large plant. And there's some just random TV. This just sits here and floats. It almost looks like something I would put in one of my modern houses. I may have to save that for it, huh? Put that in something much better. And there's Tan. I'm sorry, Tan, but I'm going to have to scalp you when I'm done with this because I need that wig. And there's the kitchen. And the kitchen is actually full. So, indeed, we do have a refrigerator right here. It's like a coffee maker of some sort. We have a laptop that's in the sink. That's a nice big sink. Oh, somebody dropped their laptop. And look at those stove pieces. Those are printed. That's another piece that I wanted out of this set, too. And for the most part, the kitchen is really nice. As you can see, though, it's pretty tight back there. Only two studs of space. I don't know why they didn't kick that counter you know, further up front here. You got the little stools and stuff, so it is a nice breakfast bar. Nice medium-sized windows. And I'm assuming that this right here is some kind of pipe. This is supposed to be some kind of modern, like a living in a warehouse type thing. And I believe over here we have some kind of blackboard or something like that. This is not even a door. And I think that this is some kind of piece of chalk or something like that. You can write on that. Now, a lot of this stuff has stickers I chose not to put on. Why? Because I'm going to part this baby out when I'm done with this, because I need the pieces. For the most part, though, it is a very interesting build. As you can see, there's a lot of floor space, so you can actually play inside this model. What are my thoughts on this set? Well, we'll save that for the review. Now for my review and opinions on the Fab Five Loft build experience. Well, <laughs> if you watch the complete build, I was pretty much happy with this build. It wasn't too boring. It wasn't dry. It was fun. I learned a lot of new building techniques and some of the furnishings and stuff could come in handy. So everything's pretty much well isolated. Like the kitchen, you could just pop that out and put it in your own build as well as the island and the living space. You can take that. The TV set just sits there and floats. So you can use that as well as this little display cabinet and these bushes, the styling chair. So you could actually transplant most of this stuff into your own creation. So yes, I'd say that the building experience would be great, which kind of leads to mocks. You can put the stuff in a mock. You can even fix this up a bit. We already saw how exposed most of the backside is. It's just meant to be as a movie set, so it's not meant to be a complete house or an apartment or anything like that. But other than that, though, it's not too bad if you wanted to make this more fancy or complete, make it into a full mock. The build quality is pretty good. I hadn't had really anything fall off, but the only thing I'm kind of disappointed is this TV should just be put somewhere else. I don't know why it's even included with this. Don't see the need for it, considering we have all this extra stuff. Now, when I was building this, I didn't have really anything fall apart. Nothing was really kind of flimsy or flaky. Now, this middle piece does come out. So I don't know if this is meant for play or whatever, and the dog obviously had to go run off and do something else. But if you're picking this up, this may come flying out. This table here just sits in here and stuff like that. But for the most part, though, kitchen's pretty sound. Uh, the accessories are all fixed to the counters and stuff, so it's pretty much what it is, pretty sturdy. For playability, you know, even though if this is a set that's rated for 18 years of age and up, I still don't understand why, pretty much anybody at any age could play with this. You can put your own minifigures in here. You could change some of the decor up and have your friends' figures in there, too. <laughs> it's... You could do a lot with just this setup alone, so, you know, it's fully playable, and yeah, I had a lot of fun putting this together, and it did keep my interest. It wasn't like I was getting tired of it or anything like that. 
Now, to drop this in a Lego City, you would need to do a whole lot of work. You can either build a whole studio that goes around this to make it feel more authentic, or if you really want to make this into some kind of an apartment, you're going to have to fix up not only the remaining walls for the interior, but the exterior will need a complete overhaul, such as this right here and stuff like that. If I can open that up, remember all that in here with the turntable, you have to turn around. But other than that, though, I'm not too dissatisfied with this set. Matter of fact, it was very pleasing. So the main reason why I purchased this set was the profile bricks, Tan's wig, and a few of the other accessories like the rug pieces and a little pug and all that stuff. So there's just so much here that I could use. This has got a very high part out value for me because I could use these parts for making other mocks and tutorials, mainly mocks. I just wanted the profile bricks. So... There's a lot of good parts in this set. So tell me what you think. Is this something you'd probably want to get for parts? For me, it's a nice parts set at that.